Hi guys, welcome back to another Budget Guitar Show. Now, I began there playing something quite angry, because I am angry today. This is a bit of a rant. Um, but before I get into the rant, as you'll see on the pig, I've whacked on a couple of decals already. Might do a bit more, but we shall see. Anyway, on to this rant. So as you know, a good friend of this channel, Dave Lewis, um, often sends in guitars that he's no longer using and has no use for, for me to review and demo. He said he had such a guitar, and uh, I was welcome to it if I wanted it. And I of course said, yes please mate. So I got in contact with Interparcel. A company that I normally use uh, when I'm choosing to either send or pick up a guitar. I looked at their prices and for Parcel Force 48 hour delivery that seemed the one to go for. It was kind of expensive around £40 but you know I wanted to make sure I got the guitar. So on Wednesday the 2nd of August, I booked the guitar to be picked up via the Parcel Force 48 hour service. And on Thursday the 3rd of August, they picked it up from Dave. All was going well. Now I knew I hadn't paid for a Saturday delivery because that would have made it far too expensive and that weekend I was away anyway. So I knew I was going to receive the parcel on the following Monday. Now if we have a look at the tracking right here on screen, as you can see they collected it on the 3rd of August and then it was sorted at their national hub and it was taken to the Medway depot. Now Medway is about 20 minutes away from where Dave lives. so. Why was it sent there? Well, we don't know. Saturday 5th of August, it was prepared for delivery from the Medway Depot. And then, a couple of hours later, it says, Received that incorrect delivery depot at Medway. So, on the Saturday, it was scanned as received at the incorrect depot. Monday, the day I should have received it, it was scanned again at the incorrect depot at the Medway. I've had phone call upon phone call to both Interparcel and Parcel Force. Parcel Force told me it was going to be delivered yesterday at the time of recording this video. That was Tuesday. Well, it hasn't been delivered, so I called them again. Now they're telling me it is actually en route to the hub at Coventry where it will be processed for delivery so I should get the guitar tomorrow or Friday. I paid for a 48 hour service and that is something that I haven't got. So I went back to Interparcel and spoke to them. They said unfortunately there is nothing we can do. Typical answer. They said that the service I provided for doesn't have a money back option or refund option should your delivery not happen on time. In which case that means the customer is stuffed. When I spoke to Parcel Force on Monday, the guy on the other end of the phone assured me I would have my package on Tuesday. Tuesday, nothing happened. Then I was assured I would have the parcel on Wednesday. Nothing happened. It is now that Wednesday and I've spoken to them and apparently I should have my parcel tomorrow or at the latest Friday. Well, if I do get it, you'll be seeing a video on it. And that's the reason why there is no guitar video this week. So guys, if you are needing to send a guitar somewhere in the UK, my advice would be don't go with Interparcel, 
all with parcel force. Because let's face it, even I don't know what condition this guitar will be in when it gets here. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video today. I know there wasn't much guitar content in it, um, but unfortunately, I'm still waiting. So, thanks to our budget backers who are right here, because without them, I could not keep this show going. If you fancy joining them, you know what to do. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and watch another video. And I will see you very, very soon when I get the guitar for another budget guitar show. Stay safe, stay sane, but keep on rocking. <laughs>